Yo guys, a few months ago I've already published a full BMX tutorial where I showed you how to perform all possible BMX tricks in GTA 5 with a controller. But then actually many people commented that they also want to have a keyboard version for those tricks because they don't have a controller or just don't want to buy one. So today I'm gonna show you all of those tricks again together with a keyboard BMX stunter called Samood. In general I still recommend doing BMX stunts with a controller because it's a bit more convenient and also easier in my opinion. But if you just don't want to switch from keyboard to controller that's no problem anymore now because this tutorial will help you out. So let's start already with BMX trick number one, the bunny hop. For a bunny hop all you have to do is press the space bar on your keyboard, pretty easy. If you want to maximize your speed though by doing multiple bunny hops in a row, you gotta get some speed in the first place by pressing caps lock and holding W. After that do the bunny hop with the space bar again, lean forward on your BMX with shift and keep bunny hopping. At the same time just hold W to go forwards. If you need to turn at some point, use A to go left and D to go right. And that's the so called speed bunny hop technique. And I know guys when I explain all of this it sounds incredibly hard but once you got this into your muscle memory it really isn't anymore, believe me. So now let's continue with the high and far jumps. This technique allows you to jump as high and as far as possible with your BMX. To do it, bunny hop with spacebar, lean forward with shift, hold W to accelerate and as soon as you hit the ground with your front tire, bunny hop again. This can actually be done multiple times in a row if you want to, very nice technique. 180s, 360s, 720s etc are explained very quickly. Just jump from any spot you want and use A to go left and D to go right in midair. Very easy but impressive trick. Now let's take a look at the BMX wheelie. To do a wheelie just get some speed first by pressing caps lock and holding W, then just press shift to lean forward and instantly after that press control and hold it. This allows you to hold the wheelie for as long as you want to, pretty easy right? Another cool way how you can use the wheelie is by going up ramps in the skate parks for example. If you do a wheelie while going up it actually gives you a little speed boost. That's a very useful trick especially if you want to do some nice trick combinations with backflips, 360s, 720s etc. The BMX stoppy is another very impressive trick for the BMX. Just get some speed first then press and hold shift to lean forward and also hold Q to use your brakes. Of course you also gotta hold W again to accelerate. I love this trick so much actually. Now I wanna show you a very popular BMX trick, the hipster slide. To perform it get some speed first, then do a normal high and far jump as I've already shown you before. Now try to balance your BMX out so you land in exactly this position. When you are in this position you don't have to press anything and it lets you slide for a very long time. Many people are actually struggling with this trick even though it's pretty easy in my opinion. So just keep practicing guys and you can do it 100%. Next up I have a very interesting BMX technique for you, the so called staircase double jump. This allows you to get very far jumps by going off staircases. To do it just jump towards the staircase with a good amount of speed and when you hit it lean forward and press the spacebar. GTA logic is so funny again. And yeah of course you can use this trick pretty well to perform awesome trick combinations just like the one from Samud for example. Probably the most popular BMX trick out there is the BMX wall climb. It's actually so ridiculous but also very impressive if you just climb those huge buildings. If you wanna know how to do it pay attention now. Right towards the building you wanna climb with a good amount of speed, then jump. Now as soon as you hit the wall hold Q to use your brakes and keep balancing your BMX out with shift. At the same time you gotta spam spacebar to jump up. I know this one isn't easy to do guys but there is actually a big help for it. The more frames per second you have in GTA 5 the easier it is to do a wall climb. So lower your graphics if you want to do those insane wall climbs, crazy technique. 
Next up, I want to show you the types of grinds that are possible in GTA 5, starting with the handlebar grind. That one is actually pretty easy. Jump towards the rail you want to grind, lean forward with shift and turn a bit sideways to land in this position. In order to go from a handlebar grind into a normal grind afterwards, hold shift, turn sideways and jump from the rail. Kind of the opposite of the handlebar grind is the so-called ass grind. Once again, you gotta jump towards the rail you wanna grind, but this time lean back with control and of course sideways again to get into this position. The ass grind is actually much harder to perform than the handlebar grind, so don't worry if you fail it often guys. A cool combination is to go from an S grind directly into a handlebar grind for example by holding control a bit, moving sideways, jumping from the rail towards another rail and holding that position again. As you can see there are many different grind combinations which you can do. BMXing lifts of creativity and especially in GTA 5 you can pretty much do whatever you want. Now let me quickly also show you how to go from a handlebar grind directly into an ass grind. First go into a normal handlebar grind of course. Then turn sideways with your BMX while also balancing it out. Very hard to explain actually but you'll see that it's not even that hard once you've figured it out. Next up we have the backwards bunny hop trick and I love that one actually so much. To do it, you gotta get as much speed as possible in the first place, then do a normal bunny hop and turn your BMX by 360 degrees. Land on the ground with your front tire first and lean back while doing another bunny hop. If you wanna do multiple backwards bunny hops in a row, lean forward after every single backwards bunny hop to land on your front tire again. Rest is the same. And yeah, with this technique you can actually go as far as you want and do cool combinations like this one for example. Backwards bunny hop directly into an S grind, what a nice trick. Now I want to show you some more advanced tricks that you can do on your BMX, starting with the frame bounce. To pull it off, get a good amount of speed and do a normal high and far jump. Then turn your BMX by 360 degrees and do a backwards bunny hop. Lean backwards now so you can land in exactly this position. From here, hold your brakes and lean forward to get a powerful bounce. Once you've mastered this technique, which will for sure take a while, you can also try to do multiple frame bounces in a row. Crazy, but impressive. Another advanced BMX trick is the so-called cork slide. All you gotta do to perform it is to land on your back tire only like this. The most common mistake here by the way is that you don't lean forwards enough. So try to keep that in mind if you fail it often. But not only can you do a normal cork slide but also a reverse one. And this one just looks like that. Ridiculous. Let's continue with the BMX wall ride. You can enter a BMX wall ride in many different ways but the easiest one is probably from a high and far jump. To do it, pull off a high and far jump of course and lean towards the wall you wanna ride. If you have a lot of speed, you can now ride on the wall without falling off. Very impressive trick that really isn't easy to pull off. The second way how you can enter a wall ride is from a frame bounce. This one is super hard though because you have to keep a lot of speed to get into the wall ride. But if you can pull it off, you can for sure call yourself a pro BMX stunter. Let's continue with the BMX side ride. This one is actually much easier than it looks. All you gotta do is find a ground which looks like this and land in this position. Now just keep accelerating and you can actually ride as far as you want to. As you could already see it is possible to go into a side ride from a wheelie for example or also from a normal frame bounce. Also here you gotta make sure that you lean forwards enough otherwise the side ride just won't work. Now we are at the second last trick already, the so-called monkey slide. All you gotta do for it is this type of high jump, lean forward and land on the ground just like that. Looks extremely ridiculous again I know, but that's the GTA logic. And now already the last trick that I wanna show you in this tutorial is the frame slide. And that's pretty much the opposite of the cork slide you can say. You can for example do a high and far jump to prepare it and land on the rail with your front tire like this. 
So yeah guys, those were already all tricks that you can perform on a BMX in GTA 5. If you are up for more stunting content on my channel in the future, like weekly stunting livestreams and videos, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. And I'm gonna see you soon again, until then have a great time everyone, bye!